Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Kellyanne Class. Only dealt with a lot of severe weather earlier this weekend, including tornadoes, large and damaging hail, and even some flash flooding in Garza County. Thankfully, not waking up to severe weather this morning, but more is on the way by later on today, just in time for uh, the holiday. But otherwise, satellite and radar this morning showing a few light showers near Childress County and Hall County. Otherwise, the rest of the area is starting to see some clouds slowly retreat off to our west, seeing a still a few lingering clouds, but most of that thick cloud cover is from I-27 corridor and to our east. But we will continue to see a mostly cloudy conditions throughout much of the daytime hours today, and that means we will be expecting some rainfall by later today as well. Now, Rawls Live Skyview, everything is calm and quiet. As you can see, there still is a little bit more rainfall left on the ground, and especially in Garza County, where Graham picked up six inches of rainfall on Saturday. More rainfall yesterday. We are still going to be concerned about a flooding event in some of our southeastern counties today. So just keep that in mind. If you are going to be traveling, don't cross any flooded roadways because that's how uh, some drownings can certainly happen. You can get swept away by some of those flood waters. Now, in terms of what we're expecting by later on today, can't rule out a few light showers and isolated showers late this morning, early afternoon, but the better chance for severe weather activity and stronger storms will be after about the two o'clock hour. Most of this activity will be kept to the central south plains and south near the Permian Basin. Looks like our northern counties will be out of the clear for today, but they still could get maybe a stray shower trying to lift to our north. This is around five o'clock later this evening. Strong to severe storms will certainly make its way through the south plains, even all the way through the eight nine o'clock hour at 1130 later on this evening. A few lingering showers and thunderstorms, but our severe weather threat will be over before midnight. So we don't have to worry about a severe weather threat overnight, but we still could see a few lingering storms down to our south around two, three o'clock in the morning. But by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, everything will be dry and quiet. So here's a better look at that severe weather potential and a slight risk for severe weather down to our south marginal risk for the rest of the south plains, including Lubbock. Now Lubbock, just because we are not in a slight risk does not mean that we can't see a few strong to severe storms. That still certainly is possible in a marginal risk, but the better chance for widespread scattered severe storms will be in that slight risk. In terms of what we're expecting for today, well, large hail and damaging wind going to be the primary concern. Looks like tornadoes are going to be unlikely at this point, but again, we're still going to be concerned about localized flooding, especially the past three days. We've been dealing with a lot of rainfall across the area, especially in Garza County. Again, you want to be aware of your surroundings, especially today will be a big travel day during the evening hours as well. So just take it easy on the roads today and try not to drive through any flooded waters and flooded roadways. For now, though, temperatures this morning a little bit on the cooler side up to our northwest, where temperatures are sitting at 52 degrees in Friona. 27 right now here in Lubbock, 61 degrees already in Seminole, but overcast conditions today will make it feel a little bit cooler. Also help to keep temperatures relatively steady into the upper 60s and lower 70s by this afternoon. Again, can't rule out a few stray showers and thunderstorms by late this morning, early afternoon, but the better chance for widespread severe weather activity will come after about two o'clock today and continue throughout the evening hours before drying out overnight. Maybe a few lingering showers down to our south, but 51 degrees as a low temperature tonight. Tomorrow's high temperature 74. We continue the unseasonably cool air all the way through the next seven days. So a big refreshing change from what we had last week when we had temperatures in the mid 90s. Now unseasonably cool air, not as active as we saw last week either. I think we're all thankful that we're not going to be having a lot of large hail every single day. So that's the bright side. Also, that cooler air, you can't ask for anything better. I can't appreciate that forecast right there. Not the 90s, which is yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, it was a little hot for me yesterday, even though it was in the mid 80s. I think today will be a little bit cooler, especially since we were so used to the mid 80s, 90s yesterday. This week, though, perfect to work out outside, take a walk, go for a jog, anything you want to do. We're doing all of it. Yeah. Thanks, Kelly.